Good morning, friends. Welcome to this good morning yoga class. This is a short and sweet class to get you ready for your day. You don't need any props, but you might want to light some incense or have some essential oils nearby just to set your stage correctly. Uh, before a more invigorating practice where I like to invite energy and I always like to have a little energizing essential oil. So this is grapefruit today, nice and citrusy, bright. I feel like it gives me energy. We'll emulsify it, heat it up in our hands, and then take a big inhale. Ah, I already feel amazing. There's some essential oils in the description if you're interested in that, if that's your thing. But when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started in child's pose at the back of our mat. We're gonna move nice and sweetly in the beginning. So knees wide, toes together, sink the hips down onto the knees. Let your forehead and your navel come to the floor. Make this an active and exploratory child's pose. So palm your hands forward, lengthen through the back of your neck and send your hips back in space. Maybe sway a little side to side here. Start to wake up through your hips, through your shoulders, your vertebrae. And seal the lips, start to deepen your breath. Even in this contracted state with the abdomen folded, big inhale, big exhale. Even bigger now. Nice. Now crawl both hands over to the left side of the mat. Stack your right hand on top of your left. And send your right hip back onto the heel. Nice side body stretch here. Moving nice and slow this morning. Place your left forearm on the ground and then inhale your right arm up like the wing of a bird. Exhale, close it down. A few more like that. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Move through center, and then palm your hands over to the right side of the mat. Your left hand comes on top, and send your left hip back. Breathe into the left side of your ribs. Your right forearm meets the mat. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Palm your hands to the center. Maybe take a little bit of a more narrow stance with the knees. And pause here. Normally, I would say to move with your breath, but we're going to shift this perspective a little bit, and instead, we're going to allow our breath to move us. So becoming super aware of our breath, on our next inhale, allow that to take you into a tabletop position, and allow your exhale to send you back to child's pose. Super gentle, easy movements. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Maybe this time as you inhale to tabletop, your hips and your shoulders go a little bit over your wrists. And then exhale to child's pose. And maybe this time you inhale to tabletop and your hips dip a little bit more forward and your, sh your chest shines forward almost into an up dog. Exhale, child's pose. One more time. Inhale, 
through tabletop. Maybe you come into an up dog position. Exhale, child's pose. Nice. Inhale to tabletop. Shoulders under, wrists over, wrists, fingers wide, point your fingers forward. Knees over, hips. Or actually, you know what? Hips over knees. <laughs> Now send your gaze to the left and send your hips to the right. We're doing side-to-side -side cat cows. Really exaggerate it. Nice IT band stretch. Inhale through center. Exhale, look to the right. Send your hips to the left. Exaggerate it. Inhale through center. Look to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, look to the right. A few with your breath here. Make this intuitive. And if this is a lot on your wrist, you can always do it on fists as well. And when you're ready, come back to a neutral tabletop. Inhale your right arm up like the wing of a bird. And then exhale, needle it in between your left arm and left leg. Your right shoulder finds the mat. Your left arm can come out straight ahead or for a little bit of a deeper sensation, take a half bind where your left arm reaches around your lower back and into your right pocket. Perhaps you close down the eyes here. Keep with your big breathing and relax in for five breaths. If you are bound, slowly come unbound. Your left arm reaches forward, then presses into the mat. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale it down. Feel free to wash this out with a little side-to-side -side cow. Maybe a little shrug of the shoulders. And then press into your right hand. Inhale, left arm up. And then exhale and needle it through. Left shoulder finds the mat. Make any adjustments you need here. Right arm can come straight overhead or wrap into your left pocket. Five breaths here. Nice. If you are bound, come unbound slowly. Press your right hand into the mat. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, set it down. We'll take some traditional cat cow, just looking up. On the inhale, look up. Tummy drops, tail rises, hip bones spread open. Exhale, chin to chest, shoulder blades spread wide. Inhale, look up, shine the chest forward. Exhale, round. Take a few with your own breath. Make this feel good for you. Maybe you take some circles in your cat cows or figure eights. There's really no wrong way to do it. And you can play there for as long as you want, but when you're ready, walk your hands forward, just one handprint, tuck the toes, and send your hips back first. Knees come off the mat, and then slowly straighten your legs into downward dog. Legs don't need to be straight. Heels don't need to be on the ground. And walk your dog out. Really generously bend into your knees here. Deep, deep breaths and press into the hands, the full of the hands. So bring attention to your fingertips, your mid finger, the palm of your hand. 
Maybe you inhale to your tiptoes, and then exhale, send the heels down to the mat. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, send the heels down. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, down. Inhale, ripple forward to a plank. And with knees on or off the mat, let's lower for five, four, elbows towards the body, three, two, one. Arms out like a T here. And then roll over onto your right side. So your right arm is behind you. Your left leg can come up like a kickstand. And your left arm reaches back behind you. Beautiful chest opener. I find that this feels so good after sleeping, and especially if you sleep on your side, you gotta open up through the chest. Five breaths here. Nice, slow with control, roll through center. <laughs> on to your left side. So left arm is behind you. Right leg comes up like a kickstand. And then reach your right arm back. Five breaths. Nice. Slowly come to center. Zip up the legs. Place the hands off the mat, fingertips gently on the floor. Press into the top of your feet so much so that your kneecaps lift off the mat and spike into your pelvis. Inhale, rise to cobra. Exhale, lower. Again, bring in this mentality of letting your breath move you. So on your inhale, rise to cobra. Exhale, lower. Light on the fingertips, press into the feet and pelvis. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Arms fly behind you. Feet come off the mat. Inhale, rise into locust pose. Knees off the mat, feet off the mat, chest off the mat. Rise a little bit higher for five, four, three, a little bit higher, two, one, release. <sighs> Press your hands under your shoulders. Come back through tabletop and right away, Keep your knees at a 90 degree angle. Walk your hands forward, setting up for puppy pose. So your arms straighten. It's almost like an elongated child's pose, but you're on your knees. For a more intense puppy pose, take your hands together. And for less sensation, take your hands wide. Breathe here with each exhale. So you see if you can relax through the sensation in your shoulders. Release the jaw. Keep bringing in big inhales. Big exhales. Three more breaths. Nice. Slowly, slowly start to walk your hands back to your body. Coming onto your knees here, I like to tuck my toes in this pose. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale through cactus, pull the chest forward. All the way down, your hands go, and maybe you clasp hands or elbows behind your back. 
chase the ground with your fists, maybe even tip back and find the earth with your hands, your chest, your sternum puffing up towards the sky. As you inhale, take that breath, that in-breath, right to your sternum and lift it towards the sky. Big chest opener here. Slowly start to come up to a neutral spine. The neck is the last thing to straighten out. Come through tabletop again, your hands planted, tuck the toes, they are already tucked in toes pose, and send your hips back into downward dog. Three breaths here, feel free to pedal it out, find movement, play, allow for play. Slow, take many steps, take a slow walk up to meet your hands, feel a stretch in the back of your legs. When you reach your hands, inhale to a half lift, long spine, and then exhale, fold it in. Inhale, root to rise, arms come wide and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center, one breath together, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Fold it in. Inhale to a long spine. Exhale, step your right foot back. Right knee meets mat. Untuck the back toe. Hands can be on blocks or mat here, or inhale your arms up overhead. As you exhale, sink your hips forward and down. Option on your next inhale to reach your hands back and look up, maybe turning it into a little bit of a back bend for three, for two, for one. Exhale your hands down, frame your front foot, tuck the back toe, left foot meets right foot, knees on or off the mat. Exhale to the bottom of a push-up. Inhale through your up dog, and exhale, core engaged, down dog. Play here, pedal out, or if stillness suits you, take it. And then slow walk up to meet your hands. Inhale to a half lift long spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up to standing. Arms rise overhead. Exhale to heart center. One breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Let your breath guide the motion. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step your left leg back. Left knee meets floor. Untuck the back toe. Option for hands on blocks or mat. Or inhale your arms up. And on your exhale, sink the hips forward and down. Press into the floor a lot with your feet. Inner thighs are engaged, core is engaged. On your next inhale, maybe you reach up, so much up that maybe you go a little bit back. Opening through the chest, turning into a little bit of a back bend. For three. For two. For one. Exhale your hands down, frame your front foot. Tuck the back toe, lift back knee. Step the right foot back to meet the left foot. Knees on or off the mat. Exhale to the bottom of a push-up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Slow walk up 
to meet your hands. And when you get there, half lift, long, long spine. Exhale, fold it in a little bit more here. Feel the space you've created in your body. And then slow with the weight in your heels and make it sultry. Vertebrae by vertebrae, inhale all the way up to standing. Reach the arms wide, up, palms kiss, and exhale, hands to your heart. Final breath together, inhale sweetly. Exhale, let a smile come to your face. And you are ready for your day. See you in the next class, my friends.